skip to content it was perhaps hyperbole, but only a little, when one observer in the press box at Langley Speedway on Thursday said Denny Hamlin looked almost as happy at winning the Denny Hamlin Short Track Showdown late model 200 lap as he was in victory lane after the 2016 Daytona 500. That glow was still evident Friday when he talked to the media in Richmond following practice for the Toyota Owners 400, the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series race set for Saturday night at Richmond Raceway. It was tempered, for a while anyway, by handling issues his FedEx Ground Toyota experienced early in the afternoon on the three-quarters of a mile Richmond Raceway Oval. Hamlin has been good there over the years, with three victories, three poles, 14 top tens and 10 top fives in 23 starts. Yet, in the first practice, his car handled so poorly it was a challenge simply to keep it off of the wall. It was bad, he said. I couldn't hold it in the groove without sliding up the racetrack. It was pretty major. We haven't had issues like that in years and years, for sure. The issues were twofold, tires and handling. But the car improved in the second practice and rallied to earn him the fourth starting position in Saturday's race. Defending Cup champion Martin Truex Jr. qualified on the pole, with Chase Elliott second, Joey Logano third, Hamlin fourth and Kyle Larson fifth. Hamlin needed no such dramatics Thursday. After qualifying second to track legend Danny Edwards Jr., among 33 cars in the short track showdown, Hamlin led 181 of 200 laps on his way to victory. He had to fight off a late challenge from another Langley legend, C. Fock, who led laps 165 to 174, and from Joe Gibbs Racing Cup teammate Kyle Busch, who finished second by about a car length. The Hamlin showdown at Langley was a topic of discussion among the media at Richmond Raceway on Friday. Bush, who has won the past two cup races, at Texas and Bristol, was asked why he raced Hamlin so cleanly in their extended duel for first place. Situations are different in any race, said Bush, who will start 32nd in the cup race Saturday. The way things kind of went down between he and I at the NASCAR All-Star Race years ago were pretty ugly. Teammates, you want to race each other clean, race each other with respect and be able to pass each other clean. But when your cars are so equal like they were last night, I just didn't see like I was going to have an opportunity to be able to pass once I got through traffic. I cut him some slack with some lapped cars a couple of times, then I got into the fence a little bit. From there, I didn't have enough to pass him anyways. The victory and the evening were joyous for Hamlin in many ways. Upon his return after a 20-year absence to Larry King Law's Langley Speedway, where he won his first race at age 15, he was honored by the city of Hampton with the announcement that Thursday was Denny Hamlin Day. In addition, a crowd approaching 8,000 attended the race, which raised funds for his Denny Hamlin Foundation, which supports research to cure cystic fibrosis. Upon his introduction, and after his victory, the crowd cheered loudly for Hamlin, who said that doesn't happen at every race in the state. It was great, he said. It was the first time I got cheers in Virginia in a really long time, so that was a welcome change. It's a lot of fun when you get that kind of support, and especially in the Hampton area. That was a big deal for that town. We just want to make the race bigger and better every year. I keep increasing the purse to $107,000 this year at that race to give back to those drivers. Then the turnout. Those are the people giving back to several different kids found.